played out well, and I felt like our team really focused in. We didn't have too many penalties, no turnovers. We, we really focused and executed there. How do you feel like you played individually today? Individually, there were definitely things that I could improve on, but the thing that I was most pleased with today was that I, I sustained some really nice drives. I drove down the field, and we had a field goal and two touchdowns. And if we're putting points on the board, then I'm, I'm doing my job. That's what I'm looking for. Do you have a feel for how this quarterback derby stands right now? The, the we, we haven't been told anything about, about the quarterback race, but the mentality for us all hasn't changed. We, we're all planning to, to play this fall. We, we want to compete. We want to lead this team. We want to help the entire team win. Who that guy is, we don't know yet, but I'm pretty sure he'll come forth eventually. Do you feel like you made uh, pretty positive steps in that regard today with your play today? Oh, for sure. I, I feel like any positive plays or drives or, or touchdowns, especially in a scrimmage like this, it helps a quarterback. But as far as the race or the individual uh, numbers between each quarterback, I'm, I'm not sure. Your deep ball to Mike, uh, you give him the credit or you say you, it's right where you wanted to put it? Oh, I tried to put it a little back back shoulder to get it away from him, but he made a great play on the ball. Are you talking about the one-handed play? Yeah, the 40. Incredible catch. Uh, that got me going right at the beginning of the scrimmage. It's, it's always a great sign when you see we can make a great play like that. What did you make of the offensive line? Oh, our offensive line set the tone. Um, especially in a rainy game like, like today, it's it's vastly important to be able to set a tone up front and be able to run the ball to set up the pass. And I felt like our offensive line did exceptional with that today. How hard is it to throw the ball confidently when it is like this? Um, it's it's similar to the, the mindset that we talked about earlier. You just have to not really think about it. Always have your hands on a towel. But I had a few throws that got away from me today. But I feel that I feel that all the quarterbacks overall we did pretty well with the rain. How'd you like Coach Grant up in the box and change it? I'm, I'm pretty used to him being on the field. He's, he's, uh, he's an intense guy. He makes sure that we get the offense right. But it was different having him up in the box, but it was fine with me. We have a great relationship with our quarterback coach, and just like all the other offensive positions. Do you feel like this was a turning point for you in the quarterback competition race? Um, I felt like I did well today, but there were still some things that I could improve on. Our quarterbacks were going to meet and, and go over the film and see how we can all get better. We're going to look at, at every single guy in the offense as a whole. I. I'm confident that the coaches will, will make a great decision on who's going to play for us this fall, and I hope that that's me, but we'll see what happens. What have they told you is the timeline when they ideally want to name a starter? They've told us to, to compete. They've told us all to, to play as if we're going to play in the fall. And that's what we've done thus far. We have a great great feel amongst the quarterbacks as well, and we're going to continue to work hard. Do you have any plans to have like an individual coach in the offseason to work with, uh, you know, some of the individual trainer outside of BYU? Um, not at the moment, no. I mean, I may throw with a few friends here and there, but number one, first and foremost, we're going to throw with the receivers that we have here. We've got to continue to work on the chemistry and the timing, and I feel like now that we have the offense in place and the plays that we're going to run, I feel like we can really set that up. How much of the offense is installed? Is it all in? It's not all in. There's still a lot that we can put together, A lot, definitely a lot of red zone and specific situations on the football field, but there's a lot of the offense in, a lot of the basic concepts. There's a lot of different things that we can do with it too. I, I feel good about the offense and I feel great about the offense's mindset and being able to grasp it and come together as a team. How much of that offense did you see today? Today we, we kept it pretty simple. We, had a, we put a few wrinkles in there when we had different situations on the field, but I feel like we'll have a lot more offense to see in the fall. One of Grimes' uh, goals coming into spring was to establish a culture on offense. What do you feel became that culture through spring? That the main, the core of that culture is to to execute. And I felt like today, the fact that we didn't have any turnovers, that we were moving the ball and getting first downs, we we showed that we're trying to adopt that culture as an offense. It's it's a it's a mindset that we have to have collectively as well. It's not just one guy can can make sure that the offense moves well at all times. It has to be a whole team effort, the offensive line, the quarterback, and I feel like we're coming together with that. What's it like getting asked question? What's that like being a topic that comes up so often? It's, uh, it's definitely very interesting. <laughs> it's interesting too because I, I feel like the quarterbacks, we don't even know what's going to happen. So we're all just doing our best, trying our best to to show ourselves, to, to prove that we can be that guy, that we can help this team win. Being your quarterback at BYU, does it change your mindset at all? Like, because you, like BYU's known for its quarterbacks. It's, it's true. This is a this is quarterback you. But uh, no, this is this is a great university to be a part of. I I feel just at home here. I feel like the team has a great feel overall. We 
we get along so well and the atmosphere of the entire university and the teachers and just the school academics that we have here too. I mean, this is a great place to be. You've touched on this, but what's the next step that you guys have to take now that spring's wrapped up and you guys move into the, uh, into the player run workouts? I feel like we're gonna show we're gonna show if we're really tied into this offense, if we're really committed by our offseason workouts. If if we're meeting together often, going through film and, and working on the timing, like I said earlier with the receivers, I feel like that's the next step for us. Being able to do it without the coaches by our side, being able to show that we want to get better this spring because because we just want to get better. Have you guys already gotten an early look at Arizona at all? Like just any familiarity, getting familiar with their their looks on defense? I and mean, we've definitely mentioned the name, but as of right now, we're focusing on us. We really want to install this offense as clearly as we can. How much ownership of that offense do you kind of feel, you know, based on where you were this time last year and your experience from last season and that kind of thing? Do you, do you feel like a little bit more of a maybe a leader or, or an owner of, of the L kind of thing? I definitely feel more comfortable being, being <laughs> here since the beginning of when the offense was installed. And then I feel like all the quarterbacks, we have a pretty even mindset that all of us have been here right when the offense was introduced and when it was installed. So. We're all getting a pretty good feel for it. The whole offense is, is really learning quickly. Was it a sigh of relief at times out there to just have some big plays actually happen? Because last year's offense, you guys just weren't able to many, get many of those big plays. Did it feel good to, to get those home run plays? Oh, great. I mean, going back to, to Micah Simon making that one-handed catch on the first drive, that, that sets a wonderful tempo for the entire scrimmage. And continually we had receivers making great catches, breakout runs. I, there was Tarek Buchanan broke out on a, on a fly sweep for about 30 yards. It was just chunk yardage that makes it, the offense feel so good. Like, And I feel like we can put more and more of those plays together, just bigger and bigger plays, mixing in with our running game and being consistent, and the offense will be really good going in the fall.